What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Fix Break Repeat. We're here at Rick for Dirt again. Uh, you might've seen that Defender video we did. Well, we've got another unique, very cool vehicle over here with my good friend, Joe. Joe, why don't you introduce yourself? What do you do? And then let's get into what this is all about. Yeah, so my name's Joe. Uh, I work full time at Maserati dealership. I'm the shop foreman over there. And I just like building random stuff. He's so modest. He also does hydro tank. I don't know if you guys have seen it on my Jeep, but it's the rear uh, internal water system. But uh, you know, if he's if he's feeling it, he might make you a kit too, and you can check out his website at uh, hydrotank.us. Yeah. Oh, us. All right, that's a bitchin' system. And, yeah, uh, thanks. Don't 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 sell it short, bro. No, we'll, we'll get one on this too, and then yeah. we'll, we'll do another video or something. <laughs> it might need it for something. Oh yeah, it's gonna need it for sure. <laughs> All right, so what do we have here? So this is a 2004 Volkswagen Jetta. Uh, came with the TDI turbo diesel, 1.9 liter. It's just a basic Jetta. It's just it's not a, like it's their CUV something. Nope, it's, it's a front wheel drive, basic Jetta. Um, I found it on offer up. The guy had to post it for a thousand bucks. Oh my God. And uh, I hit him with the 500 and he said, come get it, but it didn't run. It had excessive rodent damage. Basically rats had gotten in and eaten the entire wire harness that was up here. <laughs> so car didn't even start. Had to get a trailer, tow it home. So you had to like redo everything in here. Pretty much every single piece of wire that went through the dash uh, and, and tied into the ECU. But it took about a weekend of soldering and some crimping and getting some wiring all sorted up and she fired right up and uh, basically good to go. Doesn't got, look bad under there. No, I mean, I did, I did have to spend some time scrubbing it and cleaning it. Um, the interior was probably the worst interior I've ever seen in a car. I actually got pink eye and a small uh, nasal infection from trying to clean it out. That's dedication. It was, it was pretty gross. And you got little louvers here. You got your hood. Yeah. Still? So I decided. I mean, go a little crazy with it. I put some eBay hood vents on there. I <laughs> uh, found this front bumper on offer up for thirty bucks. Uh, made a couple brackets and just bolted it up to the frame. Chopped the bumper and then. Uh, I guess it's a. It's kind of a common thing. Guys are taking the stock jeep jk springs uh -huh. and shoving them in the front and then the xj springs in the back and then you got yourself a almost a six inch lift kit so that's what you got on here you've got some jk jk front springs uh xj front springs in the back with some f-150 so those, shocks those are from a jeep yep <laughs> how about these wheels real quick wheels are from bassett racing they're like 90 bucks a piece no way with a four inch back spacing so they, they stick out a little bit i actually really like them they're uh, they look they look really good they're like steelies but they still have some style yep all right, my, my neighbor gave me a roof rack for free. So uh, we fabbed that up, some little brackets here, really easy stuff, and just bolted it on just so we could slap some things on there. Found an old light bar I had sitting around and uh, got that wired in. I feel like that's the theme of this vehicle, is like, what can I do for the least that, amount? That's, that's the whole theme of this thing. The whole car was 500 bucks, so I and figured- And it's a diesel, right? Turbo diesel, Turbo diesel, yep. Uh, we've got, I think this is some new damage over here from the way up. The, the fitment. Just, just coming to the meetup? <laughs> yeah, the fitment isn't the greatest. I haven't had uh, this much stuff on it yet, so we got, I, the, we got the fridge in the back as well. I heard it's self-clearancing. Self it'll, it'll clear out eventually, yeah. yeah. Cool Jetta, your mom. <laughs> and I think this is, this is my favorite yeah, right here. We got the, uh, got the old tractor flap exhaust there. Oh, so rad. Got a refactor 55, of course. And what is yep. that? Is that like a steel reinforced? So yeah, I piece? took the rear bumper off and I just welded in uh, into the factory crash bar my own hitch receiver. Just, I'm, I don't think I'm really gonna tow anything with it. We might, well, we'll see how strong it is, but probably just for a spare tire mount at some point. Dude. But again, the cheapest cheapest way to get something on here, that's, that's how I'm gonna do it. So what's the plan? We doing the gambler or what, bro? I think so, yeah. The, the original plan for this is when the family from out of town comes to visit, they can at least do some like light off-roading and come camping with us. And You're like, I got you. And now I'm just having too much fun with it. <laughs> so it's kind of becoming like the daily driver. With the upgraded turbo and an ECU tune, you can get like close to 400 foot-pounds of torque. No way! And it's it's absurd. Like, Dude, so what else is next? Like any bigger plans? Yeah, so we talked about it a little earlier. I'm going to find a way to put a winch up front. Yep. So 5,500? Uh, yeah, I kind of want to go with the name brand one because you know winches are kind of important but I also want to push the limits of these cheap eBay ones for like hundred bucks, <laughs> just to see how far I can get. You don't really care when it's 500 bucks. Like if you need to cut the fender off, you just, you just cut it. Like, yeah. it's whatever. Oh, my shit broke, it's cool. Yeah, it's fine. I've got zip ties and duct tape. Yep, exactly. Dude, bitch and build as usual. It's always fun. Check out Joe, what's your uh, Instagram? Uh, African dude 13. Is there any spaces or dashes in there? Uh, no, I think no, it's just, just all, one all one word, yeah. African dude 13, check him out. And uh, as usual guys, more to come. Like, follow, shit, all that stuff? All that I don't stuff, know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't do that very well. <laughs>